just taking a quick look at this Aruska Green Sun 200 watt portable solar panel. This is the first one I've seen that's been like a, a direct copy of what's Jack, what Jackery's done with their solar panels, right? So, um, you know, what's really nice about these Jackery panels is they have the little magnets on them, right? So when you actually close this thing up, you know, it, it clicks, you know, and it's kind of snaps together, right? And it'll stay, you know, closed up. It just makes it a lot easier. And then we get the built-in handles as well, right? And actually, Jackery updated this design recently, too, where we get this all-black appearance, right? It just looks it just looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit more modern, right? And um, actually, this this new company here, Alshka, I think, I think I'm saying that right. Um, it, it's basically, you know, they basically copied that whole thing. So we do get the magnets right in the corners there. And we do get this kind of like real clean black design, right? And then the form factor as well. The form factor is the same. So this is something I've, I've kind of talked about a little bit in some of my other videos about, you know, these portable folding solar panels. Is you want this form factor that's low and wide, right? So this is basically just going to, it's just going to, make it less likely that these things are going to get blown over in the wind, right? You want to have them kind of low to the ground and uh, just, you know, you don't need to have them taller you, when you can just make them wider, right? And especially, it's real nice, obviously, when you fold these things up too, you know, this is about the size that you're going to get, right? And then it does have the four kickstands as well, right? Not just, you know, some of these have like three of them. Um, so we do get four basically supporting the whole panel. And then we get all these uh, DC outputs, which is which is really nice, including it looks like that's an XT60. And these ports actually have some pretty good specs on them as well. We get, you know, two USB-A, and one of them is a quick charge. And then we get a, a USB-C, and they're saying, I don't know if they're saying, it, it kind of looks like 20 volts up to 5 amps. I mean, that, that kind of seems like a 100-watt USB-C output on that as well. Kind of the, the real... The exciting thing is this XT60 connector. I think that's an XT60. You know, it, they don't actually say anything in this listing. I, I guess it could be XT30. And by the way, I, you know, at first when I saw this, I thought this was Airska, but this is actually um, this is actually an L. So um, so yeah, that's why I kind of been trying to pronounce it like that. And this thing does have an ETFE laminated coating on it. So this is just just another thing that you're going to want to look for on on these portable solar panels is you know most of them nowadays they're they're going to this but some of the older panels that you'll still see these around have that that PET and basically the the ETFE is just it's a little bit more transparent so you're just going to get you know you're going to have less light reflecting off the panel just more of the light's going to be going into the solar cells so generally you know you want to look for this because it's just going to give you a little bit more power i mean it's not a huge difference but you, you might as well try to find this one right and looking at this picture here you can definitely tell that they are you know definitely using that etfe coating because of how dark these these panels look right you can see that a lot of those that have pet they kind of look uh they kind of look cloudy and grayish you know, because it's reflecting some of the light back into your eyes. So this is just good. You want to see that basically that real nice crystal black solar cell, right? And here's where they're talking about the, the magnetic connection, just like Jackery's using, right? So that's just going to make it real nice. You just, you know, fold it up. It's going to, you know, click together and it's going to stay together. Uh, here's another view of the, the output ports. And one thing I am a little bit concerned about is if you actually look at this port in here, the XT60, it looks like they kind of jammed it in there. It looks like it's a little bit warped. I mean, hopefully, hopefully this is just like a like an early like pre-production you know model that they took a picture of. I, you know, but again, this is when you're talking about a budget solar panel. I mean, you know, you might have to expect some of these build quality issues. Now, just to finish off with the specs here, we do get 18 volts. So this has kind of been like the the standard, you know, for a while now. Um, but a lot of the newer panels are using a little bit higher voltage. Like I do like to kind of see like the maximum power voltage kind of more around 20 volts, maybe even 21 volts, just because a lot of these power stations, they do kind of have like an amp limit on the input. So, you know, if you can have just a little bit higher voltage, you know, you're going to get basically a little bit more watts out of it. Right. And then lastly, they do list this 200 watt panel at seven and a half kilos. So, you know, that's probably about 16 pounds, 17 pounds, something like that. So it's actually a pretty good weight. I mean, the thing is with these panels, you know, you might think you might think you want them to be like as light as possible. Right. But but you really don't, because, again, with the wind, you know, you don't want a super light panel. that's just going to be blown over with the wind. So I think that's actually a good weight for for a panel like this. So Jackery does say that their 200 watt panel is about 23 pounds. So this is, you know, it is a little bit lighter, but. Like I said, I don't think it's, um, you know, it's not extremely light. 
So it shouldn't be too bad in the wind. And, you know, who knows? Pros and cons, it might be a little bit easier to carry for you, right? Especially if you have, if you have multiple panels. So, yeah, that's the Auska uh, Green Sun 200 watt. Something just to, to look at because, you know, we're starting to see... We're starting to see these prices really come down on these panels and and it seems like everybody's kind of going to these 200 watt panels now right because uh, since all these new power stations they can take so much more solar <laughs> you know you, there's no real there's there's really no reason to go for a 100 watt panel now because even if you had a, an older power station that had like a 100 watt solar input on it then you could just over panel it with which is a single panel you know just a single panel you would be over paneling it right and then you would just ensure that you're always going to get those 100 watts. So yeah, there's, I just think there's, there's really no reason, especially with these prices coming down, to get anything less than a 200 watt panel, right? And uh, hopefully these, you know, having all these options, we'll, we'll start to see some of the other big brands like Jackery and Blue Eddy and, and stuff kind of lower the prices on their panels. Because, you know, as you know, like, like it's just ridiculous the, the price that they have on those. So yeah, hopefully I just found this interesting or helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching.